all drugs are bad for you. So you should avoid drugs at all costs. Me and my brother have never tried a drug in our life. I've never tried a drug. I've never tried weed. I've never tried cocaine. I've never even tried them. I've never even taken a steroid. Nothing. Nicotine, caffeine. Those are my drugs. I've never tried any other drugs. Stay away from drugs and stay away from people who do them. Always. Always. If there's one thing me and Andrew have always said to everybody since we've ever been online. Whoop, whoop. Here I come. We have been anti-drugs. I've never taken a drug in my life. I have never tried a single drug in my life ever. I've never even tried a puff of weed in my life ever. I've never tried a steroid. I've never tried a narcotic ever in my life ever once ever because I understood that there's two options. I don't like it, which means I never should have tried it. Or I do like it, which means I never should have tried it. Either way, there is no possible benefit. There's no good outcome from me trying a narcotic. So I don't do that. And why would I? And also, and I'm going to sound like a 1980s television commercial. I will preach to all you young people watching, stay away from fucking drugs. I grew up in Luton, which is a shithole in England, which is riddled with drugs. Everyone's on cocaine, everyone's on weed, and there's gonna be this guy in the chat right now, he's gonna pop up, but you drink, I smoke weed and weed's healthy and it blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something about weed. Here's the problem with weed though. Weed makes you happy when you shouldn't be. The friends I had when I was 18 who used to smoke weed and play their PlayStation 2 and eat pizza, that's a good night if you're on weed. I used to sit there after kickboxing for anything. This is fucking shit. I need to do, I need to make some money. I need to get out of this situation. And those same people, and you know, I, I still love you if you're watching me where I am today, but you're still playing PlayStation. Well, it's PlayStation 5 now instead of PlayStation 2 and smoking your weed and eating your pizza and you're still broke and you're my age. You know, it makes you content. That's the problem with drug use. I'm saying it makes you content and it makes you happy when you're in a shitty situation. I've seen people take cocaine and have the time of their lives in somebody's kitchen. You know what I would say is the most destructive feeling to be obsessed with trying to obtain? What? Happiness. You're constantly as a man trying to chase happiness as the most destructive thing you can do for your life. Because you can't delay gratification. You can't do anything which is particularly difficult. And the only thing that's going to make you happy quick is cheap happiness. Shit. Cheap and easy. Booze, cake, drugs, dumb shit. Real happiness, real contentment and pride takes a long time to build. So anyone who's obsessed with chasing happiness is gonna destroy themselves. As a man, you have a burden of performance. You, as a man, you shouldn't be waking up going, how do I get happy? As a man, you wake up and say, okay, how do I perform? You know, and, and happiness will come at the end of the performance anyway. But if your number one goal as a man, if your number one mission in life is just to be happy, that's gonna be an extremely vapious existence and you're not gonna be a man of substance. The whole mindset, the whole idea that, oh, we all need to be happy all the time is the reason you have men on the streets, taking drugs, looking for a quick fix because they don't want to do any real work to get any genuine fulfillment. So they end up shooting drugs, running around being fools. And you have to imagine how you see yourself. And if you see yourself as a superhero and an extremely disciplined and hardworking person who achieves everything he's ever wanted in life and does amazing things, you have to understand that you're not going to be able to do that on drugs. So you need to have a mental projection in your mind of who you think you can be and who you want to be. But if that person is a, an extremely successful, extremely hardworking, extremely intelligent, extremely respected individual, he's probably not going to be doing drugs. Where's your duty? Where's your shame? Where's your self-inflicting morality? That's the problem with all of this shit. And it's the problem for all these addicts. If you want to wake up and say, what kind of man am I? Am I a drug addict? Well, then go be a drug addict. What kind of man am I? Am I a man who has control of his life and control of his mind? Then I'm not a drug addict. You have to make a decision. If your image in your mind is of the kind of person who is controlled by a substance, I'd be embarrassed for a non-sentient substance, a powder or a plant to control me doesn't even have a brain and it's my boss what am i a dumbass no i'm the boss i'm the boss of fucking tobacco and coffee and i'm the boss of everything i'm the boss of food if i don't want to eat i don't eat i feel like one of the stains on the canvas of a beautiful society if you're trying to paint a beautiful society you're trying to view you're an artist you have your paintbrushes drug use and heavy drug use is a stain on the canvas it is impossible to paint a masterpiece on a flawed and stained canvas Stay away from drugs.